Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up your own personal VPN, more specifically using private internet access. Recently, I did a poll on Twitter asking my followers if they use a VPN and 80% of them said no. I thought that number was pretty high. So we're making this video to showcase how to use private internet access to set up your VPN if you're a content creator or a home labber. I'm gonna show you three different methods on how you can use private internet access to secure your browsing. Now, before we get into the video, if you haven't guessed already, today's sponsor is Private Internet Access. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. If you are somebody who uses public Wi-Fi at hotels while traveling or at coffee shops, all of your data is transmitted across an unencrypted network. That's where PIA comes in. All of your data is hidden and protected on their private infrastructure. PIA has a no log policy, so all of your data activity is seen by you and you alone. PIA allows you to change your IP address to one of over 80 countries, as well as all 50 US states. This comes in clutch for the gamers out there looking to connect to multiplayer servers in different regions or countries. Sign up to the link in the description of this video to get 83% off and four extra months for free. This deal comes out to about $2 a month. Thank you to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, thank you again, Private Internet Access, for sponsoring this video. Let's go and get into it. The first way I'm gonna show you how to use Private Internet Access is via the Chrome extension. Go ahead and head over to my link. I'll put it in the description of the video on screen, and we'll put a QR code here that you can scan, head over, and get signed up. Once you are all signed up at Private Internet Access, you wanna go into your account, and then you wanna go into downloads. What we have here is a bunch of different options. We're gonna scroll down until we have the Chrome extension option. You can click that, get the extension, install it. Once you have the Chrome extension installed, you're gonna click the icon at the top right there, and you're gonna to have to log in. So what we'll do here is we'll click the item here for the current regions, and you can search and sort by latency, by name. I think right now it's doing what it thinks is the best for me where I'm located. So it says Silicon Valley. If I go back here real quick, we can see this is my IP address, 18144. To make sure, let me refresh this. That's gonna find us, yes, 181.44. Now what we can do here is we will go ahead and Let's go and connect to Silicon Valley. And we are now connected, and you can now see that our IP address ends in 239. On the PIA, what is my IP page? We'll refresh that, and you can see we now are set with our 239 address. It says we're in San Jose. So you can see there, we are now officially connected via the VPN. What this is gonna do, anything that goes through the web browser is going to be through PIA. Stuff outside the web browser is still gonna go out your regular internet. And the reason is because we are using the Chrome extension plugin here. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how we make everything on our computer go through PIA, not just our web browser. The second way we're gonna show you is we're going to install the actual software client for Windows. So go back to PIA, privateinternetaccess.com, log in, go to the downloads page, and then you can see here, there's a whole slew of different apps and stuff you can download. So we have apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, you know, Android. I have this on my phone um, and my family's phones because we get multiple, um, you know, connections at the same time. You have, we just did the Chrome extension. There's a Firefox extension. Um, I have this also on our Roku in our travel trailer. So if we're connected to um, Wi-Fi at a RV park, um, and let's say I don't have my router set up or I don't feel like getting it all set up, we can use the VPN and it kind of encrypts that traffic going over the public Wi-Fi, and then PS5, PlayStation, and Xbox, that's using the smart DNS feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the Windows version. That's what I'm on, but if you have a different operating systems, go ahead and download whatever you have there. Then let's click download, and then once you install it, it's gonna have you log in. You log in using your username and password that you set up when you set up your account with PIA. And before we get into that, just to show you that I am now disconnected from the VPN in the browser, you can see at the top right, the icon is orange, it's not green. And then what we'll do is we'll refresh this page and it's gonna say we're back on that old address, unprotected, 
uh, back in Dallas here. So you can see we're moving all over the place depending on what server we're connected to. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we will open the private internet access app and you can see here, there's not a lot to it when you open it up and that's great. It has the IP address that we're currently on. Once we connect to something, it'll have a VPN address right there. What we'll do here is let's go ahead and choose a server and then it's gonna be sorted by latency here. So right now it thinks Vegas is the closest server latency wise for me. I'm gonna do something a little different because PIA has different servers based on stuff you wanna do. So if you're wanting to stream stuff over like Netflix or something like that, they have streaming specific servers. That's what they specialize in those specific boxes. We're gonna scroll down here. We have an East Coast streaming optimized and then we have a West Coast streaming optimized. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the West Coast streaming optimized. I know the ping is a little higher. We'll click on that. And then it says that's what we're gonna connect to. We'll click the big power button in the middle there, connecting. You can see that was our address, and then this is now our address going out. So we chose West Coast Streaming Optimized. Back over here on the What Is My IP address page, we'll refresh that. And remember, it says we were in 44 was our, you know, the last part of the address, and we think we're in Dallas. We'll refresh this, and now dot one ninety eight, and we're in Santa Clara. Now, something to note with the client, since it's installed on the computer itself, and you have it running, everything on the computer is going to go out through that VPN. So, for example, before when we used the browser plugin for Chrome, only stuff in the web browser was going to go through the VPN. Other stuff won't go through it. With the application connected to private internet access, everything is going through the VPN. So not only web traffic, like for your web browser, but if you're a gamer and you, let's say, want to connect to a different server or a different region. So let's say you you live in the East Coast and you want to connect to a server on the West Coast to maybe play with some friends and hopefully get put on the same server. You could run this, connect to a West Coast, you know, Seattle, LA, whatever. And then most likely the game you're playing will dump you onto a West Coast server because everything, including your gameplay, is going through that. If you're a streamer, your traffic from OBS is going to go through this. So everything on your computer is going through the VPN. So just something to note there. I have never really had an issue with speeds being affected too much doing that. I've streamed plenty of times through VPN through PIA. When I play Sea of Thieves and I want to connect, hopefully get dumped on the server with friends that are in the East Coast or in Central, I'll fire this up. I will jump in and get put on a server. And if that's the server I want, what I'll then do, I can disconnect the VPN and I'll still remain on that server or just leave it on, right? I've never had an issue with it. So just something for you to, to note there that when you're using the client or the application, everything on your computer is going through the VPN. Now it's time for the third way I'm gonna show you how to protect your data and your web traffic with private internet access. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up private internet access on our router. And what that's gonna do is all traffic within our house or anything connected to that router is gonna go through a VPN. You don't have to install the client on every machine and you don't have to install anything in the browser on any machine. Everything, all traffic that's connected to that router, whether it's plugged in or via Wi-Fi, is gonna go through the VPN. And I'm gonna use a GLINet travel router I'll put a link in the description below, as well as here on screen with a link and a QR code that'll take you right to the model I'm using and you can pick it up. It's great for travel. There's another video I have on it. Really highly suggest you take a look at it if you travel a lot. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you that we are in fact disconnected. Let me refresh. See, we are disconnected from the VPN. In our router, we're gonna click on VPN here. We're on the internet page, we'll go to VPN, and then we wanna do open VPN client. The great thing about private internet access is it is open source, and so it uses the open VPN protocol, and it can do WireGuard as well. So for this one, we're gonna do open VPN. So choose open VPN client, and then and down here at the bottom where it says other open VPN capable providers, we'll click add manually. We'll type in whatever we want to call this. We'll call it private internet access. And then I think we're going to do, let's do US West. No, let's do US East streaming because we already did West. So we'll do US uh, East streaming. 
and I'll show you why we're gonna do that here in a second. So that's named. Now we're gonna go back to private internet access. So we'll go here on our web browser, go into our account. We wanna go to downloads again, and then we'll scroll down to the very, very bottom where it says right here, open VPN configuration generator. That's what we want. This is where we're gonna configure how we're doing things. So we'll go ahead and click on go to open VPN generator. And here is where the fun happens. So we are going to do open VPN 2.4 or newer. We are going to select the platform. Now the platform is where we're installing this file to. And since we're doing our router it is going to be Linux. And to give you a kind of an overview of what's happening here, private internet access is going to create a file for us. It's a file that the router knows how to read and it's going to configure all the VPN stuff for us. Super easy. So we'll click Linux because that's the operating system of our router. And then you'll do the server that you want to connect to. So we have options in North America, South America, you know, Europe, Asia, Oceania, Africa. I'm gonna stick with North America. When I travel, it's usually East Coast um, or maybe vacationing in Mexico or something like that. So I'm not gonna do California. I'm gonna go and do, we talked about doing uh, US East streaming. So you can see right here, we'll click US East streaming. We do have US West streaming somewhere on here. Uh, we'd have to search for it, scanning real quick. There it is, US West streaming. But you can see we have all these different server options. So we're gonna do US East streaming. We'll scroll down to the bottom here. You can leave the port there and then we'll click generate. And then once you click generate, it's going to create a file and then it's going to download. Go ahead and download that file and save it in a place where you remember where it's at. And then once it's saved, go ahead and head back over to your router. Now I know we're doing this in the GLI net router. You could do this on any router that can do open VPN client setup. So it's not specific to this router. I know there are a bunch of routers out there that'll do this. And this give you kind of an overview of how you can do that. So we have our open VPN client set up. Our name there is PIA. Go ahead and rename that so we can read it a little better. We'll call it PIA, US East Streaming. And then right here where it says select a file or drag it, that's where we're gonna select that file that we just downloaded from PIA. So go ahead and click that, find the file, and edit there. And you should see an option here, depending on your router, that says upload successful. And now we have a spot to enter our username and password. And this is where we're gonna type in our username and password, once again, for private internet access. Go ahead and type it in there and click apply. Now you can see I have everything configured. It is the name, and this is the name of the file that we uploaded. Um, and then this is the server address of what all of our traffic is gonna go through. So over here, we can click start or delete. Um, if we need to upload a different configuration file, we can do that. What you can also do is click and create new groups. So if there are different servers that you wanna connect through, let's say you wanna have one for US West streaming, or you're in, let's say Italy and you, want a to watch Netflix in North America while you're on vacation. You could set up, you know, a different thing, maybe like closer to home that goes through, you know, somewhere in the US or et cetera. Something really easy to do. You can create as many there as you want. And then what we're gonna do now is the fun part. So with this router, what's really neat is under system here, we have toggle buttons. And on the side of the router is this like switch that we can just a rocker switch or a sliding switch we can slide it one way and it turns something off on the right and then if we slide it to the left it'll turn something on and we have the ability to do open vpn clients so i can literally just slide the little switch to the left and it'll enable VPN, or I can slide it to the right, and it'll turn off VPN. We're not gonna do that right now, I just wanted to show you, it's kind of something fun to do. We'll turn it on now, and once again, just to make sure to show you, well, I'm gonna refresh this page, and you can see we're still gonna be about 44 in Dallas. If I click right here, and I'll click enable the VPN, and then we can go and click enable right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Client is starting, and however your router is set up to start or enable their open vpn client go ahead and do that and like i said earlier once this is connected and you can see now we are connected everything on the network that's connected to this router via plugged in or via wi-fi is going to go through this private internet access server so once again i don't have to install a client or install anything on any phone any device in my house that's connected to this it'll just go through the vpn and then if I want to turn it off, simple, I can click the disable right there, or I can just slide the rocker switch. Again, whatever enables or disables it on 
your router. We go back over here. We'll refresh this. There you go. We're in now Jersey because we did US East streaming. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. It's nice to uh, be able to have that kind of security in place for everybody. So if you have a guest network set up when people come over or you're traveling with family and you have a guest network, that can all go through the VPN and everybody is you know protected. And there you have it. That's three ways you can use a VPN from private internet access to secure your data when you're browsing or gaming. Once again, everything I use in the video, I'll go ahead and link in the description below. And thank you again to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. Head over to the link in the description or scan the QR code here on the screen and get 83% off a two year subscription and they'll give you four additional months for free. That comes out to about $57 for 28 months. So it's a really good deal. And if you're using private internet access, let me know in the comments below of how you're using it. Are you using a Chrome plugin, a Firefox plugin? Are you on a smart TV, your Xbox, etc.? I want to hear how you're using it. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.